Aloha, top of the morning. We are going to talk about what NFS means today. If you don't know what NFS means, you will know by the end of this video. Uh, most of you might already know what it means anyway, but we're gonna be showing you something that we're doing today, which is gonna be a lot of work, which, all right, before we, before we get into all that, I am sick, so please bear with me if my brain seems a bit off. And uh, I wanted to talk about a couple things. I wanted to apologize some to my Canadian folks. Noah has a verse that he really wants to share with you. So before we get into the, whoa. Hilo, 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 leave that chicken alone, bud. Goodness gracious. Flights were booked to go to the Canadian Reptile Show last weekend, or was the weekend before. And because uh, Canada still is uh, holding on to their crazy COVID policies um, a little harder than other countries, I, the can flight had to be canceled, I couldn't go. It was unfortunate, but um, it was okay. You know, I was a little upset at first, obviously, because I missed my Canadian folks. I really wanted to be, go to check out Billy and, and um, hang out with Adam and uh, Dylan and just a bunch of other folks that I know from now. I mean, there, Chris, there's so many good friends I have in Canada that I haven't seen for so long, so I was pretty bummed to not go. But at the same time, it's like I know that God puts me wherever he wants me to be, and he has, he's got everything in his hand, and wherever I'm at is where... He's got me, and especially because Hillary ended up being really sick. Um, so luckily I was not gone, and I was here to take care of the kids and do homeschool and, and let her rest while she was literally, I mean, there was a day when she made these noises, I went sprinting down the hall because I was like, oh my gosh, she's dying. Like, she was pretty sick. So I'm sick now. <laughs> and unfortunately, that means I probably won't go to the Sacramento Reptile Show that I'm supposed to go to. Uh, which will be another bummer, but it's okay. It's okay. I know that uh, I'm, I'm fine with it, you know. It's just, it is what it is. You get sick, and I don't have control over these things, so just, uh, thanks for bearing with me. Noah, yeah. did you want to share that verse? Noah's going to share his verse with you. He really wanted to share a verse with you guys, memorize the verse and share it with you guys, so I'm going to let him do that before we get up there and uh, show you what we're doing for the rest of the day with the NFS stuff. It's all you, brother. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that, can I start over? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's John right. John 316. John 3.16. Jesus. Check him out. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Dude, I was just gonna say how it's so good that I'm not so sick that I can't work, but I'm starting to feel more sick. I just took, <coughs> I just took a picture of every single ball python breeder or sub adult that's going to be a breeder. Basically, every every ball python in this room that has a name that's not for sale. And now we're gonna take them and put them on Morph Market. I'm gonna show you how. This is something really cool. Another feature coming out on Morph Market that you're gonna want to know how to do, especially if you're just getting started. I'm very envious of you if you're just starting to get into breeding now and growing up, growing up your uh, your breeders right now, growing up your snakes to get ready to breed, because you don't have to do what I just did, which is take a whole bunch of pictures and not do all this data entry that I'm about to do. But even if even if you have a lot of animals already. Here, let's go do enter in the computer. Big thank you to uh, Morph Market and, and Freedom Breeder, our channel sponsors, and great uh, companies you want to be involved with if you're doing what I'm doing. All right, let's check this out. So, I should turn this stuff off. Yeah, let's we'll go sit down at the computer. I'll walk you through this. I'll show you how easy it's really going to be. All right, here's what we're going to do, and I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. So, NFS, for those guys that don't know me, is not for sale. And on Morph Market, which I got my screen pulled up here, 
and we're gonna I'll have, I'll have a screen here so you can just look uh, I made my mouse huge here so you can really see what's happening where I'm going and clicking basically I'm gonna take all of my breeder animals that I just took pictures of which is every snake that is a male or female adult that is gonna be in the breeding program I got all their pictures here ready because I'm gonna upload them all to morph market and this is really excellent and awesome i remember looking through justin's website back in the day jkr and he had all his projects kind of lined out and you could see what he was maybe hopefully going to produce and this is big for both breeders and people that are looking for certain projects you can see what a certain breeder is working with and you can just kind of follow along and see what they have as far as breeder animals and what they're going to do uh, in the future and if you're looking for a certain project you can see what they have in fact the website's really cool you got Morphpedia, you got events that are coming up, um, different things that are happening in the news, different things, new way to ship. There's all kinds of, always things in here. Um, and you got stores. Let's take a look at the first one that comes up, Big D Exotics LTD. Congratulations, Dario, for being first one up there on the thing. So if he has his thing set up the way that I would like and hope, I think you, okay, so you can view all 70 listings. He's got bug searchers. You can view traits, view traits about 67 ball pythons. Let's view the traits. And if you just wanted to look at all the fire he's got, you can, you can do that. So that this is all, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. You, you can just do basically anything on this site that you can imagine. I, and if, if you, if they're not offering it yet, you, you can just tell them what it is you're imagining and they'll, they'll try and work it in. The site is just going to be growing and growing and growing in so many cool ways. But what I'm looking at first here is, is how to import. So I've got like 30 animals or whatever it was I just took pictures of and I want to get them all imported. There's a new way to do it um, versus just typing everything into this field here, all the info. Uh, you can get this sample spreadsheet right here. You just click on that and I've already done that. So you got this sample spreadsheet right here and it gives you all the different things that you can enter in. And you'll basically just take this and copy and paste and put all of those animals into, put that copy and paste right in here, and we'll see what it does in a minute. And right in here, if you're wondering which things you can type into these different fields, there's a thing right down here below, supported fields, all the different things that you can type in. And there's some really cool things beyond just this right here. Like you get your animals in the system, then there's gonna be even more things you can do with this going forward. Um, but let's go ahead and go through with one of these. So you can take this thing and there's an option to just go to file, and make a copy because you can't alter this one this sample they give you but you can make a copy of it and I'm gonna call this one um, I don't know all my breeders <laughs> let's just call it that how about that uh, make a copy and now this is mine that I can mess with all my breeders and this is using Google Sheets which is a free thing or Google Docs and it's just an awesome program it's free and it's really easy to use uh, so ball python, everything I upload is going to be a ball python. So if you just hang on there and you wait for there to be a big cross and you just drag down, as far as you drag down in that field, it'll just fill it all with ball python. So all of these that I'm about to put up are all going to be adults. So I can just take this, turn it into an, wait till it turns into an X. I'm using this big mouse is first time for me. It's funny. They're all going to be adults, everything I put up here. And uh, then they'll all have different IDs, they'll all have different titles, I'll put in their names, which is Garkia, the Mojave Cypress from Miguel. And then down the line, I imagine you can go back and like add lineage from breeders and stuff and just track your lineage, like knowing who the parents were. If you know from the breeder that you got them from who the parents were and they have them plugged into the system, then you can start just really dialing in and keeping track of everything that you've got going forward. And this is going to be huge, like in 20 years from now, I want to look back and see who's the great, great, great grandmother of you know, the, this clutch that is being produced here at Triple B, I could just, all in this system, it'll all be there. I can look back and see exactly who produced who, produced who, produced who, who begat who, begat who, and next thing we're back to Adam and Eve. So that'll be, that'll be cool. Type into the field there, Garkia. Bing, bing, dink. Her ID was 18-002F, and she's going to be the only snake in my entire facility ever that will have that ID. I'm not going to have a price on any of these, so because none of them are going to be for sale. So I believe you can just delete this column and we'll say goodbye. All these are going to be not for sale. So boom, got not for sale. Come in here, hover over that and ding, 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 ding. Everything's going to be not for sale. 
uh, visibility. If you have animals that you don't want to share, you want to get, get them into the database, but you don't want people to know because it's like a secret project of yours, you can just keep the visibility, visibility private. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. You can just keep the visibility private. So that's an option. And I, I think I might do that for all these now because I can do a bulk add for them later and change them all to public when I'm ready for that to happen. So for now, I'm just going to keep them all private so they don't go up without me wanting them to. Female. Her date of birth. Luckily, I've tracked all that stuff back in the day. So this March 20th of 2018. Wait, I'm not going to be tracking the weight from the adults. I just, I'm just not. For now, I'm just going to delete that column and I can always add it back if I wanted to and grab another new sample sheet and do all that. The only animals that get a group ID from me are the ones I produce here because they come from the clutch that I produced. So well, some of the animals that are adults here, I did produce. So I'm going to leave that open because they'll be from whatever clutch. And that'll be tied in later when you're doing offspring and clutches and being able to just like search through and find who's related to who and it's gonna be so cool. All kinds of fun stuff happening over here. It's Earl from Lone Star Reptiles. Hi, Earl. What are you doing, man? I'm importing all of my breeders into Morph Market right now. I see. So I, I guess that means you're not in Texas, then. It unfortunately means that I'm not in Texas. I was actually <laughs> supposed to go to the Sacramento show, but I'm sick, so I'm not going anywhere. Ooh. Yep. That sucks. Yeah, I've had worse. But it makes me appreciate the times I'm not sick. That's what I like about being sick. Yep. No, I was just calling to see if you were going to be here. If you were, you know, make sure you came back here. But yeah, I would have loved to come see you guys, but I'm um, February. <coughs> Get feeling better and, and uh, enjoy life. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm enjoy. I'm sick, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> there you go. All right, man. All right, my friend. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you soon, bro. All right, bye. Bye, Earl. Good guy, man. Fantastic human being. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna go enter in the rest of them. And then once I got them, we'll, we'll jump back in here and we'll see exactly where we're at. All right. I'm not going to bore you guys with entering in every single one of these snakes. Moment of truth. Here we go. We've got everything entered in here. All 39 of my adults or sub-adult ball pythons. So all you're going to do, click up here. And this is important. You don't click down here at the ball python level at the second row. You click, you got to include category and all the titles at the top. Okay. So click up there, click category. Go down to the bottom right most corner of your last entry, hit shift, tap it, that'll grab everything that you just entered in, hit copy, command C for me, and then we're going to go into the import animals, I'm going to paste it right in there, boom, paste, it looks like a mess, but hit import, import, moment of truth, import succeeded. Please verify import for correctness in all fields. Garkia, all not for sale, status. Here's the thing, I can select, if I wanna make all these no longer private as they are private right now. Here we got all my not for sale stuff. Whoa, how does there, there's already pictures of Bridget in here because I produced her and she was in Morph Marguerite. That's Andrea too. Look at these, I got picture, new pictures of all these guys over here, but they're already in Morph Market, so it recognized that they were already in Morph Market and just pulled them over here. That's awesome. That's amazing. That is so cool. So anyway, if I wanted to select all of these animals here to do a, a bulk thing, like if I want to take all these and, and take them from being private like they are right now and make them no longer private, I should be able to click here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I can click that. I can change the visibility to public or unlisted. If you have unlisted, that means you can share a link and share with people that you want to see that, that particular snake that you have. So I'm going to leave them all private for now. And then for all these ones that don't have pictures yet, click on there. I can go in here to my photos. I took the picture of the Baroness yesterday. That's the Baroness right there. Upload. Boom. She's got her picture right there. There it is. Fantastic. And now, so this is as far as I want to go with this right here, right now in this. We've imported them. These are all my not for sale stuff. It's part of my collection here, but you can look at this. If you, anyway, no, that's all I want to do. That's all. That's it. I'm I'm going out of my mind right now because I've I've had too much. I've had too much. I'm doing trying to do too much. I need to go do something else. I, you know, actually, I I probably got to start editing this video so that it can be up and ready to go for you guys. I wouldn't want to miss a Saturday video for you guys. That's just that would be unacceptable. We're not missing any Saturday videos around here, so I'm gonna 
I'm going to say goodbye. I hopefully found this uh, insightful and inspirational and all the great things that I hope come for every single one of our videos, no matter what we're doing, no matter where we're at, no matter how we're feeling, no matter. Yeah, you do that. Daddy, can dogs have bubbly water? A dogs should not have bubbly water. Why? Because bubbly water is for people. But water is for people and dogs. <laughs> you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video. Aloha. Oh, so long,